good afternoon, whatever time you are watching this. Hey y'all, hey. Okay, before we get started, y'all already know what to do. Like this video, share it, subscribe, and also comment what y'all think about to happen. Like y'all already read the, 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 the title. So whatever y'all think about to happen, just go ahead and let me know. But anyways, y'all, it's literally like 8.15 right now. I've been up since 4.30 because right now we're doing a road trip to, um, well, right now I'm in Albany, New York. We're actually driving to like Lake George area. So we're going upstate New York. And right now we're in Albany though to get something to eat. Cause like I said, it's eight something right now. We've been up since 4.30. We've been driving since five. So your girl tired, your girl hungry. I'm over here dozing off. So I had to stop. Um, I'm with my mama right now, so I had to stop and say like, hey, we got to get something to eat because I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. So with that being said, we're about to get something to eat and then after that, we're going to head to snowmobiling. Then after we do our snowmobiling, we're going to like this ice castle situation. It's going to be a fun, fulfilled vlog, okay? Y'all just stay tuned. Y'all just get ready because we're about to have a good time, baby. E. <laughs> All right. Okay, y'all. So, like I was saying, we stopped to get something to eat, and right now we're at this place called Manneries. And the food, I ain't even gonna say the food look good. I'm for a lot already, but the drinks. I just got a cookie butter latte. This headache here, she aggravating. Just look at her. What you got? I'm about to enjoy my spike hot chocolate with the babies and the whiskey. No, I make you. I make you. No, please. I make you better. Anyway, y'all. So she got that. I got the cookie butter latte. Um, also, I think I may like later on, it, depending on how the cookie butter latte tastes, I'm going to try the cinnamon strusel. Strusel, yeah, either that or I'm going to try. I want to try this toasted marshmallow, but I don't. It's toasted marshmallow peppermint, but I don't like peppermint. They got a lot of different like coffee flavors that looks really good. So if I don't like the cookie butter, then I'm gonna just get regular coffee. But if I do like the cookie butter, I'm gonna just try something else for a little raffle out. But yeah, let me look at the food because that's the most important thing. The food. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we just ordered and like I said, everything just looks so good. They got different flavors, waffles, pancakes, french toast, eggs, bread. <laughs> everything so what i just ordered is the hash and eggs so i got two eggs toast home fries and crispy crispy hash or hash browns and i got cookies and cream waffles like i know i'm eating with my eyes right now but i always eat my leftovers so that's fine and then my latte just came my cookie butter latte Ooh, oh it's hot oh it's so hot Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. Let me taste yours. She got, what you got again? The baby, hold on, let me see. Hot shot, baby, wait. Hot. She got something with alcohol in it. No, you gotta know their name. Okay, let me taste a little, what, first of all, let's not do it What her lips was at. Don't know what them lips were. It's good, but baby, that is strong. I know. No. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, my latte good. It just need to be a little sweet, but every time I have lattes, I always feel like it needs to be more sweet. I don't know why. I hate, I be telling them that like they need some more sweetener or whatever, but it's any latte. It don't matter how sweet they make it. Like I need it to be even more sweet, so. But yeah, I'm now we gotta get, wait for our food. Now I done brought my tongue. Okay, so my food just came. Well, our food just came. I'm just waiting on my cookies and cream waffles, but these had this corned beef hash. Oh, I'm making your mess. It's good. I just had to put a little salt and pepper. Like, it's decent. It's decent. <laughs> Thank you. 
first of all, let me just say, my home fries, eggs, hash browns, and my toast, it's good. The, um, the homemade fries, they like the right crunch. They just not like as hot as I want them. But, and it wasn't as seasoned, but y'all know, like, I just like everything extra seasoning. Extra seasoning, extra sugar, baby, that's all me. So I just add a little salt and pepper, and it's good. Now there's waffle. There's a waffle. Big. But I don't even need no syrup for this, because everything is already on here, like. So I realize it's like. Whatever you like. Y'all better come down here and get one of these. A cookie and cream waffle. Oh, it's all in my hair. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we finished eating. Now we're heading into snowmobiling. And we're already dressed. We got everything. I got on my big black jacket because I'm not trying to be cold. And then I have like my ski suit. Um, well, I don't even have a whole suit. I just had the ski pants. They blue. Um, so I'm gonna put them on for when we go snow snowmobiling. Then after that, we're going to the ice castle to take pictures and wander around, which we shouldn't be there all day. Cause it's not really like anything to actually do. It's more for the aesthetics. And then after that, we're going to the hotel, which is in Albany. So right now we're like an hour away. So my mom is driving this time because I already drove like two hours and 30 minutes. So she got to finish off, period, which is only like an hour. She only got an hour to drive. I did most of the driving. So we got an hour there. Then we're going to have like two hours coming back to be in Albany. No, an hour to be back in Albany for the hotel. Actually, no, it may be two hours because we're going to actually be in Lake George. I don't know. I think it's an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes. So we'll see. But off to snowmobile and we go. I'm so excited. I'm full. I'm ready. I'm energized. But I'm low key for the take a nap because why not? <laughs> and then I'll be ready to snowmobile. Boom, boom, boom. just finished doing snowmobile and me and her were switching off while I rode most of the time like I do everything most of the time I don't yes. know who she thinks she is oh, I, that, that's it raise a child up in the way you want them to go always take care of you yes no needless to say it was fun honestly I was fine with the experience I don't need to go fast this is one of them things I don't need to go fast baby this snow is slippery it may go down the hill but you did a great I don't job need no problem. I, I never said I did I said I don't want to go fast oh. Like you said, you want to go fast next time. Me, I will continue on with the experience. Well, I'm going to come next time my husband because he's dangerous. Damn it, we no. can't fit on the snowmobile. <laughs> and then both of y'all together. Woo, woo, woo. I just always need a driver. I just need a driver. Driver is that easy. Mm -mm. But y'all, it was really a good time. Where is this? This is CNC Aranda. I don't even know how to say it. How you say it? I'll put it down in the description. I'll also like put like a little lower third here so y'all can see where it's at. But it was really fun. Upstate New York. Now we're about to get ready to go to the ice castle. But we got a little time to kill. So 
We'll do something in between. Lake George. We're going to downtown Lake George. Okay, downtown Lake George. That's what she said. But when we get in the car, she's going to switch switch her room. That's all she knows, to switch her room. That's right. Live life just by the second in a moment. That's all. So, but that's all, y'all. Okay, y'all, so as you can see, we have made it to the ice castle. Well, y'all see that we changed. We're walking to the ice castle now. I just put on some makeup and changed my outfit. Um, I don't got on no lashes. Ugh, how ghetto. Well, I don't know where my lash glue at. Eh, whole bunch of lashes, no lash glue. Well, whatever. I can't wait to get to the ice castle, take some pictures, and show you guys how it looks because it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> we have made it to the ice castle. It is so beautiful here. Beautiful. Y'all, I was trying to be cute with these boots on. But my feet don't hurt. It's just walking in the sand, so I gotta change them. I gotta change these bad boys. So I bought some boots, so I'm gonna put on my snow boots. Cause, whew, which it ain't bad. I could still walk in them, I just don't want to. But I got a few pictures of them, so I'm fine. Come on, 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 come you come on, 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 to get on this slide. Am I sure? Yeah, I see everybody coming out this hole. So I'm about to get on the slide real quick. Okay, so time is winding down. It's probably like five o'clock now, and we're about to go. We're just going to look at this Polar Express bar that they have. But I think it's like where you buy like hot cocoa and stuff, so we ain't gonna buy anything, but we're just going over there to look. We got all our pictures, everything was beautiful. Um, I would say, if anybody can wanna come and visit, I would say visit. The only thing is don't have high expectations of anything. This is literally like, if you ever been to like, a botanic type of garden you literally just walk around take pictures and this is really for kids because kids have a good time so a lot of families is out here i think those are the type of people that will enjoy this um other than that nice pictures beautiful view huh probably you in there okay Okay, y'all, we finally left the um, the Ice Castle activity. It was fun, like I told y'all, but now we're at the hotel -y. And y'all, I gotta say thank you to my brother, my headache, Wayne, because baby, the hotel, so we got the hotel in Albany, New York. Now, if we would've got it in Lake George, where most of our activities are at, 
it would have been so expensive. So because I'm his sister, I was allowed, you know, able to get the family and friend discount. So I got it in Albany, Georgia. And y'all, this room is so nice for two days. Let me show y'all it real quick. It's nice, but we finally home. We can chill. I'm trying to see if I'm going to get something to eat or just wait till tomorrow morning. But I'm really hungry, so we'll see. But let's take a view. Let's take a tour of this, you know, this room. This is a nice room, a nice little size for two of us. It ain't much, but it's something like, it. it's nice. a little later maybe y'all see me eating or maybe y'all see me tomorrow the next day you know so bye good morning y'all so today's day two of our road trip to upstate new york and right now we're about to get ready to go either dog well we're going dog sledding and we're also going to like the star trek museum so that should be fun the only thing with dog sledding is it's first come first serve and they open like at I think 10 a.m. So, and we have a two hour drive because we're in Albany right now. And it's in Lake Plastic, New York. Uh, New York. One hour drive. No, two. From here? That's what, it, yeah, it's one hour from Lake George. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, we about to head out. I'm about to do my makeup, get dressed, and we go. Okay, I'm all dressed up and ready to go. We heading out. We got a two hour drive. Woo! And I gotta drive, but it's all good. Let me show y'all what I'm working with. I know I'm gonna be cold, but it's fine. Okay, y'all, so we made it to our destination, and y'all. It was a struggle. Like I literally got stuck like down this hill. You know, we like on ice and black ice. So like some people had to come and rescue us. Baby, we were stuck. But needless to say, we made it. We're here. And now we're going to dog sledding. So excited. So happy. So much fun. So basically where we at is Lake Plastic. And it's where like um they do the Olympics. Some people Olympic train. I think they actually had it here too. So it's a tourist place for a lot of like Olympians and stuff. Mainly probably for the snow, like hockey and stuff. There might be another way to pay down here. So y'all, this is the area where I got stuck. So we drove down here when we were supposed to walk down here and we got stuck. The people did everything in their power to help us. Okay, y'all. We're literally like on the lake slash like a beach area that they have here. Um, cause this hotel's in the back. Yeah, I can't really see them. But the dogs are already running. We're about to pay. It's only $20 for the dog sled. But I think it's only like 10 minutes, which is good. You don't need too much. And plus it's cold, the wind gonna be blowing. So yeah. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room So how long have you been doing this for? Uh, this is my 23rd year giving rides right here uh, I was born into it, my father's been giving rides for 43 years Okay, oh so this is y'all business together? What's that? This y'all business together? Yep Okay to my place. It feels so good out here it's so catch me if I fall. The uh, bigger dogs eat more and do less. <laughs> Sound like me. <laughs> go, go, go. We got more people to get on. Okay, go. Got 
Okay, y'all, so we just did dog sled. It was so much fun, got a little history. So basically what we just did the dog sled at, I'm gonna put the information down below. But what we did it at is basically like a generational thing. The boy who was on the sled with us, his dad has been running the company, he said, since 83. And he basically bought it from another guy. So they've been doing it for years and so they keep it in the family. So the son does it now. And then I was talking to the dad afterwards and the dad said, yeah, I'm going to get his son to do it too. Cause I guess he got an older son. He said, I'm for the side, get him out here. So, you know, you gotta love some generational stuff. And it's only $20 a person, which is pretty good. And we were on there for a few minutes. It's like 10 minutes online. I don't know if we did 10 minutes or what. Honestly, I ain't need that. <laughs> but it's not that cold, so it was a good experience. It was fun. The dog's so little, like, I'm like, I hope they don't be tired carrying us. He <laughs> was like, no, they're trained to do it. I was like, yeah, we some big girls. <laughs> so it was so much fun. But now, I don't know where we're heading. Where are we heading, Sonetta? She really don't know either. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we just left the dog sled. I just drove like an hour and some change um, to this ranch, Circle B Ranch, riding stable, and we're about to ride some horses, and it's about to be a good time. So yeah, we're about to do that really quickly. Ma, no. Some people on there, they book that time. You need to wait until your time comes, especially if they already put off. If you would have never changed the shoes, you could have been asked. But anyways, y'all, so we're now at the Circle B Ranch. Uh, we're about to ride some horses, and we're just gonna go around the lake and just enjoy the ride. It's just for, you know, it, an experience or whatever. So, yeah, it's so cold, like, so cold. No, my breath not hot, it's cold. <laughs> Y'all, so we're gonna touch the horses. Come on up, come on up. These two are shy, they are shy. See, he don't want me to talk. He or her don't want me to talk. Let's see what She don't mind. Okay, y'all. So we are closer and clo closer and closer to getting on the horses. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. They're so pretty. I think they're a little shy. So I don't want to get too close. But yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Donkeys here, so you got Fiona and Donkey. Okay, so two boys. Yeah. Okay, right now we're doing a little pit stop for Jack and Daniel. Let me stay between them. So basically this is Daniel and this is Jack. So they taking a break real quick because they tired, which I understand because they've probably been dragging people all day. Trying to eat me, Jack. 
Oh, he did say you nibble on people. Hey, y'all. Okay, so we have made it back to the hotel. But somebody is hungry and somebody isn't me for once. But yeah, she's hungry, so she's trying to find something to eat. I don't know why we just want to go to McDonald's again. I mean, Wendy's. Because Not I want to sit down and eat and enjoy me a meal. Don't do that. Don't have to sit down. Like I said, have a good she's meal. trying to do all this stuff and don't even know what you want to eat. That, that's really the, the, the problem. Why you don't know why you want to eat? I don't care. Like, I let's go. It's down. about everything about the clothes I want anyway. To serve me. Serve me. I don't want to pull up in nobody's drive through. Okay. <sighs> so I guess we'll be going out to find. Eat. I don't know what we about to do, to be honest. Eat, I guess. So, y'all will see me then. Okay, y'all. So, we just came into the casino, and we just came to a restaurant called Duke's Chop House. But I feel really, like, I feel like... So, I just ordered a lemon drop, but... When we came into the casino, I never been into a casino before, other than like on the cruise and stuff. When I came in, I had to show them my ID. I ain't know we had to show IDs, but regards to the fact, I had to show them my ID. But when my mama came right behind me, she didn't even have to pull hers out. Why would y'all ask for my ID and not her ID? I don't like it. They see the age in my eyes. Like, I don't care. Like, I think that's discrimination. They see the youth in you, you should be excited. But needless to say, we're about to um, get something to eat. I just ordered me a lemon drop. And she don't know what she's gonna get yet, but I can't wait to taste the food. Okay, so the bread just came. And it's hot, it looks good. We're gonna take the... <laughs> it's hot. I gotta see what it tastes like with the, the butter turn. Cause you know, the butter gonna always make everything taste, enhance the taste of everything. They got sesame butter. Either I'm fat or it's good right now. It's like a buttery type of taste. Well, it's weird because it's butter, but like not buttery, but garlic. Okay, my lemon drop is here. Like it was like a shock, but you know, it did the job done. Okay, so the food is finally here. Let me show y'all. It's a little bright, but I got salmon, spinach, and mashed potatoes. And my mama got potatoes, carrots, and short beef ribs. So let's see how it tastes. The salmon falling off the bone now. Hold up. Casino. Little does she know I'll be back at the hotel. Okay, y'all. So we just came to the casino. Oh, 
Okay, y'all, so today is our last day. We're literally getting back on the road right now. Clearly, I'm about to drive because somebody's sliding over there to the passenger side. Who raised her? I don't know. But yes, we're getting back on the road, so um, we may stop somewhere to eat. If so, I'm gonna, of course, show y'all like where we eat and everything. If not, we're just gonna go grab something really quick and just head back to Jersey and be there in no time, which I love. So, with that being said, I'll catch y'all a little later. And if anything, y'all probably will just see me back home in Jersey. <laughs> we shall see. So, clearly I just need to stick to getting breakfast from Vonda's and not, I mean not breakfast, but dinner from Vonda's and not breakfast because it's just, it wasn't hitting, I'm sorry. And I love catfish, I love homemade fries. Them things was terrible, like probably the worst homemade fries I ever had. And I've been to some crazy hole in the wall spots and I don't know. But now I'm finally about to head home home, relax. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so we just finished eating, we got back on the road, and finally we made it home. So as y'all already seen the clips, like, we went to this place called Vonda's Kitchen. This is a little restaurant, black on restaurant. The food was all right, like, like I definitely had better. The homemade fries was, like, I literally had to spit it back out. Like, it was not good at all, so if you go there, don't get them. Or oh, I don't know if it was the chef or what, but it wasn't hitting on anything. But, that's not even what I really wanna talk about. So y'all, first of all, when we got into there, look, she just keeps staring at me. I'm not really staring. I'm, I'm you staring at me. Really Regardless not. of the fact, when we got there, like, this, it's just something was off. Like, we felt that when we went in, well, we just ain't know what it was. We was like some off or whatever. The food usually go, I'm like, we just gonna see him, we gonna eat. So it took forever for the waiter to come. I said something, but my mom was talking about What you had said? Oh, cause I was yeah, like, well, what yeah. it at? Oh yeah, she was like, it's not that serious. Cause I, I usually tell her that. Yes, yes. I yes. usually tell her that like, when people be taking forever or doing something, I'm like, well dang, what it at? She trying to be funny, tell something. It ain't that serious. Say, I use your own words on you, yes. Regardless of the fact, there was a, she, whoever the way it was for us, she was taking forever. So then she finally came. She really did not take forever. She did not come because I asked for them to clean the area. She was coming. But I asked them to clean the area so that what took her a moment for the cleaner to come. That's what happened. But even after that, she still took a long time. But needless to say, when she came, all of her energy was just down. And I don't, I don't like to complain. I usually never complain. Like I always find she everything right about a place. But this time it was just off and she just, like she didn't want to talk. She barely was asking us what we wanted. Like she yeah, looked. Out. Yeah, we like we. She had to like. She was looking at us for us to like tell us she was ready. We like, bro. We don't even know if you ready because you ain't saying nothing. So then this is like she just was not a good server. She wasn't a good waiter. She wasn't a good nothing. But yeah. we ain't hold that against her. We ain't hold it against nobody. Like we just here to eat. We gonna go mind our business. So then, like, as we get ready to pack up, get our stuff, the lady who owned the rump, Miss Vonda, she comes and I ain't paying no attention. I'm thinking she just doing her rounds. Like, you know, most restaurants on us do. She doing her rounds and asking us, like, <clears throat> you know, was everything okay? Did you guys find everything fine? And I was like, oh, um, other than the homemade fries, like, everything was good. Like, the homemade fries, they tasted really weird. I told her that. And she was like, oh, okay. Now, mind you, I ain't say nothing about the server. I ain't say nothing about the waiter. Because, like, that wasn't even on my mind. Like, I understand people be having bad days. And they just don't serve good. I ain't holding it. Like I said, I ain't holding it against so long as my food is what it is. Y'all, so we said that to the lady who owned the restaurant. When we was leaving, so I paid. Because she ain't want to pay. But I paid. And I'm fine. Not. <laughs> I'm not. Whatever. So I paid. My head look crazy. So I paid. And the bill was like $88 and some change. So I have no intentions on paying her. Like none whatsoever, like the tipping. I have no intentions on tipping the girl that was serving. But I was like, you know what? I'ma round it up the $90. Like just to round it up, I gave her $2 tips. So I had them paid up and I had left. Then she was still in there. So I'ma let her tell her side of the story because I don't like, I don't, what happened? I don't like, whatever, go tell your story. So the owner- of Why do you have to put this professional voice on? <laughs> the owner of the restaurant approached me. I didn't even know she was 
coming to me because I was hitting my head down trying to get out. She said, oh, did we have any bad service? I'm like, huh? Like, it threw me off. She said, oh, because? I'm like, no, but really did. But she was like, I was like, no. She said, oh, because um, she only tipped her $2, and it was a $90 bill. I said, oh, okay. So immediately, I just said, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tip the waiter. But wait. Okay. So in my mind, I said to her, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, whatever. I didn't think because I kind of moved kind of fast. I was getting out. I'm like, okay, $90. Okay, whatever. I tip her. So she goes to tip her after I already gave her the $2. It has nothing to do with you. Don't even mean it's about okay, you. Okay, that's not a fact. How you just mean it's about you? This is not about you. Because I already tip her. I feel like if the person, whoever is paying, they paying. Like, whatever they give, that's what they give. And that has nothing to do with the person. About you. So, okay, she gave her a $10 tip. After she I know we just had I bad service. I didn't even give her, we have to say what I did. $10, okay, she gave her a tip. I, I went and gave the, um. More money. Okay, I went and tipped the waiter. Whatever, no biggie. I'm walking out the door. But God pushed me back. I swear to God, I opened the door and that wind hit me in my chest and said, uh-uh, go back and speak to the owner. So I went back and spoke to the owner. I said, I'm sorry, I can't leave out here without um, addressing the issue. I say, honestly, when we came in here, this server was off. It was bad. The energy was down. And I said, I can't walk out of here. I said, you just came approach me about, you know, um, not, you know, me not tipping. She said, oh, no, I never dressed the tip. I said, yes, you did, because you told me it was $90 and my daughter only paid $2. I said, so, yes, you did. I said, because if you was only concerned about the service, you would have only asked me about the service. You right. told me what the bill was, and you told me what my daughter tipped. So, I said, no. I said, so, I just want to let you know the energy was down. I said, from the time we came in here, the waiter was very low. She never talked. She never said anything. Her energy was down. Not even trying to bring her energy up. Never got the energy. Never said a word. We had to literally pull words out of her. Like, she never said nothing. We had to actually tell her, okay, we read the order. She never checked on us. She never said anything. And I said, and honestly, you know, young people barely tip, but, you know, I will have a conversation with my daughter, but young people barely tip. And, she, and honestly, we don't have to tip. I say, I say, because guess what? Had I paid, she wouldn't have got nothing from me. That late, the way would have got nothing because her energy was down. She never spoke a word. She never said nothing. I had to keep asking her, do you talk? It's like, like, do you say Yeah, that? what's yeah. going on? What is going on? Like, she never said a word. And I said, I promise you, if I was paying, she wouldn't have got not one dime from me. And I want my $2 back. Well, okay. and, I, and I didn't <laughs> want my tip back. Because I was moving fast. And had I was moving fast, like I always do, she wouldn't have got anything. And the service was really bad. And I did let her know how the service was really, really bad. And I said, just like you came and addressed us about um, how was the food, and we told you about the potatoes, and you said um, you would never get served. You would never give um, like if you get bad food, you're gonna let the people know, and you're gonna send it back. I said, guess what? Your wedding did not want to take it back. I said, but we didn't say that to you. Yeah. We were, we were just keeping the cordial. I said, it's not to get nobody fired. It's not to get nobody to take their job. I said, but no, because you addressed me about the tap and what she was tipped, she did not even really deserve anything. So I'm very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Especially for a black-owned business. I've actually been to Vonda's. Like, when I first moved to Jersey, I had went to Vonda's. And I my, my first interaction was with the actual owner of the lady. Like, the lady who we spoke to there, Miss Vonda, like, interaction with her and it was good she was jolly she was nice like i don't know it was good so when we came in to sit down everything was just off like it was a gloomy day today sunday is super bowl super bowl sunday like the energy supposed to be the highest Hi. to be honest today exactly. and we being honest and it was just law like what she said like what was it and then you asked her and like, i asked her she said yeah. she wasn't feeling well and i'm like anyways needless to say we were trying not to complain but clearly we had to end up complaining all I'm going to say is, the food is decent, but if the service ain't up to par with the food, it's not even worth going to. No, nah, no. It's I not agree. worth it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I hate to say that about a black-owned restaurant. Like, yeah. Miss Vonda, your people. Like, oh, my God, I'm so disappointed. Like, yeah. I'm so disappointed because we really was going to let it slide. Like, the $2, you didn't even deserve $2. You know how bad your service got to be to not deserve $2? Correct. And we gave, we left giving you way more than that. And you had a nerve that come, not even confront, but confront us about your bad service. No. No. Mm -mm. No. Who raised y'all? No, who raised them, but nah. No, yeah, no. no. And this is why we keep continuing to get bad service because we keep going back and receiving service like that. And I don't believe in um, paying for bad service because I believe in spending my money. I believe in paying for good service. And no, I don't go back well. Service is bad. No. Especially them whole, I'm, I can't think about them homemade fries was disgusting, like throw up disgusting. Especially like. if they're coming from way up in upstate New York, 
Where the where food was good. And everybody, and everybody like this, like literally like this. Uh, Why? Mm. Why? Everything like, seasoned. Everything good. Everything seasoned. Like, you know, I mean, I, everything was good in season, you know, just a little salt and pepper. But for it to be disgusting how it was, like, I'm so disappointed. And exactly, like, we was literally in upstate New York at white-owned restaurants. And the food was better. The service was great. Like, come on. What it is, they probably got us back there in the back cooking. Because usually we in the back cooking, honestly. Mostly the time. But anyway, besides. That had nothing to do with the service, though. The service was good. The service was good. Every restaurant we went to, even if it was and Wendy's. And listen. Well, honestly, okay, well, she had a problem with Popeyes, but we ain't even going to talk about it. And guess what Popeyes was at? What Popeyes was? Oh, Popeyes was in the hood. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> exactly. But everywhere we went, now, matter of fact, I'm just going to. Yeah. Regardless of that, we just ha I had to say that little spill because if y'all ever in Jersey, I want to say visit Wonders, but if the service is the way that the service was, I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna put myself out there. I'm not gonna say it in the vlog for y'all to go because y'all gonna be like, oh, why Queen they said send us here? No, Queen they said ain't sent y'all there because the service was terrible. But you the energy was down. Yourself. Everybody experience experience may improve. Or Uber Eats and you don't have to deal with the service and just deal with the food. And I would, put, I would say just get dinner, don't get breakfast because the breakfast was not it. And y'all know we from Miami, like we from down south, so. No, actually. The food be good, our food be good. Actually, my salmon croquettes was really good, but they call it salmon something else. Patties or something. Yeah, but it was, it was good. <sighs> Needless to say, y'all. Needless to say, this is the ending of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this upstate road trip vlog. Y'all seen everything that we did, y'all seen. York. What I said? Upstate, upstate what? New York, to be exact. They already know it's upstate. If you watch the vlog, you already know it's upstate. So I'm but upstate New York. I gave you your moment. See, when you give people a moment, they overdo yes. their place. Don't ever get nothing in, because I'm going to take the yard. Is, well, I know better. I know better. So needless to say, y'all already know what to do. Like this video and show your girl some love. Comment your thoughts and let's discuss. Like, what did y'all like about this vlog? Did you like snowmobiling? Did you like dog sledding? What about the horseback sledding? Or what is horseback sledding? The horse sled. I mean, it's on their back. Ice castle, I forgot all about the ice castle. We did a lot of things upstate. Um, from Albany to Lake Placid to Lake George, we did a lot of things, so y'all already know. Comment your thoughts and what y'all think. Share this video, and last but certainly not least, subscribe and join your girl channel. Bye. Say bye. Count the next. First of all, you is blue. Why are you blue? Okay, go. Count this next. Matter of fact, we should. Can you just say bye? Bye bye.